Hi guys, this is the Rugby Guru and today I'm doing the preview between the Rebels and the Waratahs. Now both teams have been struggling so far in this competition, so it should be a really good encounter. At 15 you've got Dane Haylett Petty up against Kirtley Beal. Dane Haylett Petty had a decent game against the uh, Brumbies last week, while Kirtley Beal really had all to do against the Blues. So form-wise, I would say Kirtley Beal need to step up, as well as Dane Haylett Petty. He's had one good game so far, and it's really going to be a really good clash against the two. At 14, you've got Reese Hodge up against Cameron Clark. Reese Hodge uh, moves from the center to the wing. I do prefer him on the wing rather than on the center. He has a bit more freedom on the wing. While Cameron Clark comes in for the first time, I think. So he will really have his work cut out in this encounter. At number 13, you have Campbell Magne up against Alex Newsom. Alex Newsom moves from the wing to center. How much of an impact that will have will have to be wait and seen. While Cameron Magne also gets his first start for the season at center. So both guys new in the position should make for a very interesting battle in the midfield. At 12, you've got Billy Mix up against Carmichael Hunt. Billy Mix's form is absolutely disastrous at the moment. While Carmichael Hunt had a decent game against the Blues last week. So, Billy Mix, we know what type of player he can be. So, it's time for him to step up while Carmichael Hunt will be looking to really just go ahead on the form from last week. At 11, you've got Marika Corobetti up against uh, Jack Maddox. Jack Maddox have his first start for the Waratahs this weekend. While Corobetti will really have to look at gaining some form as his first two matches have been really poor. While Jack Maddox will really be looking to secure a starting berth in the Waratahs side. Uh, moving on to the number 10s, you have uh, Matt Tamua up against Will Harrison. Atamua had a decent game last week against the Blues, uh, against the Brumbies as well. While Will Harrison has been given a lot of freedom at Waratahs, a lot of effort and time has been put into this youngster and he needs to start delivering in that jersey while we all know what Matt Tamua can deliver. At 9 you've got the battle of um, Ryan Lawrence up against Jake Gordon. Jake Gordon's form has been quite good for the past two weeks while Ryan Lawrence will have his first start for the Rebels this week in a place of Lomani who has been absolutely poor up until now. So Jake Gordon will be looking to really uh, build on his form while Lawrence will start to look for a starting berth. At number eight you've got Issa Naiserani up against um, Jack Dempsey. Both players really decent. Jack Dempsey I thought had a really good game against the uh, Blues last week, while Issa Nasarani hasn't really gained the type of form that made him a Wallaby in the past. So this should make for a really interesting battle at number 8. Number 7, you have um, Richard Hardwick up against Michael Hooper. Michael Hooper also showed some um, promising play last week against the Blues. Didn't have a great start to the Super Rugby season, while Richard Hardwick, I think, also have his first start for the Rebels this weekend so make sure for a really good battle at loose forward at number six you have michael wells up against uh, jet holloway jet holloway has been in and out of the world uh, starting lineup for for the past two weeks while michael wells will really be looking to settle in so the loose forwards the battle looking from eight to six really looks promising should be a really mouth-watering encounter at five you have Matt Phillip up against um, Rob Simmons the inform lock at the moment for the Brumbies while um, Matt Phillip also had a very decent game last week against the Brumbies um, Rob Simmons will be looking to to complete his form at the moment for week three he is really looking good so far at number four, you have um, Ross Haylett Petty up against Tom Staniforth. Pet, uh, Haylett Petty hasn't really performed that well, whilst Tom Staniforth have had a mixed bag of results so far. So Tom Staniforth will really look, be looking to build 
to secure a place in the Wallaby squad, while Ross Haylett Petty is still struggling to find some decent form. At number three, you've got Ruan Smith up against Harry Johnson Holmes. Harry Johnson Holmes had a really decent crack against the Blues last week. I thought he was one of the better players in that Waratah side, while Ruan Smith has really disappointed up until now for the Rebels. So, the clash of the props and the hookers will be a really interesting one indeed. At number two, you have Ana Anuri Rangi up against Robbie Abel. I think Robbie Abel has also been a very uh, good performer, consistent performer for for the Waratahs so far, while Rangi has had a mixed bag of results. And this should also be a really make or break situation for Rangi. At number one, you have Matt Gibbon up against Angus Bell. Um, I think it was Rob Kern, Rob Kern, Kearns what, that told us that Angus Bell won't be long before he overtakes on a number one jersey. And this week he gets his opportunity, while Matt, Gab, my, Matt Gibbon will really look to cement his place in this Rebel side. So looking forward to that clash as well. On the bench for the Rebels, you got Stephen Misa, Cameron Orr, Cabos, Yelov, Gideon Kuchelenberg, Robert Leoda, Angus Cottrell, Frank Lomani and Andrew Callaway. Most of the guys demoted from the starting lineup to the bench. So it really tells a lot of what has been going on at the Rebels at the moment. So a lot of players struggling to hit form. For the Waratahs, on the bench you got Damien Fitzpatrick, Tom Robinson, Tatera Faulkner, Ryan McCauley, Leighton Swinton, uh, Mitch Short, Lalakai Fuketti and Mark Nawakatawasi. So they've got decent subs on the bench. As far as my prediction for this game goes, I think it's going to be a tight as all Aussie derbies are. Um, the Rebels are at home struggling and so do the Waratahs. I think the Waratahs might just have a slight edge. So I would go between 2 and 5 points for the Waratahs. Until next time, see you guys.